The $4.4 billion reservoir along the Sacramento River has been planned for decades. But what's taking so long? California constructed numerous big dams during the 20th century, resulting in the complex reservoir system that provides the majority of the state's drinking and agricultural water. State representatives and backers are now prepared to construct the following one. Since 2014, when voters approved Proposition 1, a water bond that authorized $2.7 billion for new storage projects, the site's reservoir has gained momentum and support. It has been planned in a remote area of the western Sacramento Valley for at least 40 years. In this video, we're going on a special trip to see what's cooking in California's multi-billion dollar mega project. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for daily content. So let's look at the potential pros. Sites Reservoir could potentially increase water supplies for more than 24 million people, largely in Southern California and 500,000 acres of farmland in the Central Valley by storing up to 1.5 million acre feet of Sacramento River water. According to current estimates, the reservoir will cost $4.4 billion, of which $875 million will be covered by Proposition 1, and the majority will come from government loans to water providers. Big move, right? Here's more. The site's reservoir, according to its supporters, is a crucial step in bolstering California's water supply, which is being put under greater stress by the state's ongoing drought as well as the extreme rain and flooding. Additionally, Southern California is under pressure to drastically reduce its consumption of water from the Colorado River, which may increase the value of the Delta water to Southern California. California's water supply would not be significantly affected by sites. Major reservoirs currently contain 50 million acre feet, and sites would only contribute around 1.5 million more. The state and federal systems in the Delta export 4 to 5 million acre feet annually on average. So, as you can see, this project is mega for a reason. Named for the historic quarry town of Sites, which will be submerged if the project is built, the reservoir would occupy remote hills and creek valleys west of the Sacramento River. The size is obviously very huge, and so it won't be filled by heavy rainfall alone, but also the local rivers ranging from about 5 to 6 miles away. Of course, water transportation would take a lot of work. High-class machinery, turbines, and fuel for this massive transport would cost another tenfold. Two large dams would contain the water along with seven structures called saddle dams, which will close in the northern side of the basin like the rim of a large bowl. Sites Dam will be nearly 300 feet high and more than 700 feet in length. Golden Gate Dam will be about the same height and three times as long. The saddle dams, though not as tall, will be huge features as well. One is sketched out in planning documents at 3,422 feet in length. Also included is a pair of tunnels, 23 feet wide and 3,000 feet long. Building all of these features will account for much of the reservoir's $4 billion price tag. Mixing concrete for the dams could require as much as millions of gallons of water per day for four years. The $4 billion project will use the Sacramento River to pull water, but only during significant storm surges. But one could definitely affirm that these are some innovative ways of filling the dams. Before we continue, here's a heads up. So go ahead and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. When building any huge project, obviously a plethora of impacts should be evaluated thoroughly. A potential problem could be this. About 15 families live in and near the town of Sites, so building the reservoir will require their relocation. Brown, the project authority's executive director, said acquiring the private properties will be included in the project cost. Not to mention, there will be a certain amount of environmental impacts, but not necessarily negative ones. Off-channel reservoirs can be less harmful to the environment because they don't obstruct important fish migration paths. 
environmentalists have nevertheless questioned the reservoir's viability and functionality, asking whether there will be enough water to fill it. Now, you might be thinking, how would that affect the Sacramento River's fish and other wildlife? The Golden State Salmon Association's president, John McManus, remarked that few, if any, of California's dams have benefited Chinook salmon. The commercially valuable fall-run Chinook salmon may be in danger of declining below fishable levels, which might result in a shorter fishing season this summer or a complete closure. Several native fish species are currently on the verge of extinction. Again, a huge move. It's no surprise that such a project will need funding to the max. To get funding under Proposition 1, the reservoir must offer public benefits. The reservoir operation is expected to benefit downstream communities, ecosystems, water quality, and opportunities for recreation in addition to providing improved flood control. According to California Water Commission Public Relations Officer Paul Cambra, an evaluation of these public benefits will ultimately determine whether or not all of Proposition 1 financing would support the reservoir's development. The majority of the remaining costs will be covered by a $2.2 billion federal loan that has been paid back in 2022, a $449 million loan from the U.S. Department of Agriculture on the site's project authority, and a financial commitment from the U.S. Borough of Reclamation. America to the rescue! The site's reservoir is a key water source for some districts, even if it would make up a small portion of California's overall water supply. The Metropolitan Water District would receive an extra 50,000 acre-feet from sites, a 3% increase. The Metropolitan Water District currently supplies 19 million people with 1.6 million acre-feet of imported water each year. With the addition of 10,000 acre-feet from sites, the Zone 7 Water Agency, which provides water to 270,000 people in the East Bay, would enjoy a 20% increase in supplies. The general manager of Zone 7 Water Agency, Valerie Pryor, emphasized the value of sites as a viable choice in the face of ongoing droughts and rising household demand. It may not seem like it, but these numbers are huge, and it's a great place to start in order to combat California's water problem. It's important to recognize that many of these underlying issues are also a direct impact of climate change. So, this $4 billion mega project is a huge fight against climate change and a huge step towards the betterment and improvement of the Sacramento River Valley. Are you excited for California's upcoming project? What do you think about it? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and share, and of course, subscribe to become part of the change.